Welcome to the Teacher's Library. I'm Miss S. Today, we are going to read Push and Pull by Patricia J. Murphy. Move it. All objects need a push or pull to start moving. Elevator buttons need a push to make the elevator go up or down. A swing needs a push to fly high in the sky. Your heart pushes blood through your body. This pushing keeps you alive. Your muscles push your bones so you can move. Can you think of other things that need a push? What about a pole? A shoelace needs a pull so you can take your sneaker off. A zipper needs a pull to close your jacket. Firemen and lifeguards pull people out of danger. Cranes and tow trucks pull heavy loads. The pull of gravity keeps us on Earth. Without it, we would be floating in air. You push and pull things all day long. Waves pull things out to sea. Sunshine helps young plants push their way up through the soil. All of these objects will keep moving until something stops them. Scientists call this inertia. When moving objects meet a force called friction, they slow down or stop. Friction happens when objects rub together. When you push a marble off a table and it lands on the carpet, the marble rubs against the carpet. This friction causes the marble to stop. A stopped object will not start moving again until another force helps it. It will need another push or a pull. The I hope you enjoyed reading Push and Pull with me today. Like this video and subscribe to the channel to see what books we'll be reading next. Thank you for listening.